Hi Squids, this is Squibber here with another Python tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be uh, doing Piglet again, and this is and then and then in this tutorial, I'll be doing more than just setting up a window. I'll actually be drawing stuff. So let's get into it, shall we? The first thing we need to do is import Piglet like before. Piglet. There's no such thing as semicolons. Oh, and we should probably save this as YouTube.py. Yes, I would like to replace it. And uh, I'm just going to pause the video and type in the rest of the starting code because it's I've already went over it. All right, so if you save that and we run, we should get a little window that pops up. So then once we've done that, we can go ahead and start doing the graphics. So the first thing we're going to do is draw a uh, little line. So we're going to do this by saying window dot event. Alright, so we say window.event and we say def on draw. So this is here as our draw method. And in the draw method, we're going to say pig, piglet dot graphics dot draw. And this is going to draw some graphics. So now what we need to do is we need to say to semicolon piglet dot gl dot gl underscore lines. Alright, and that will basically be setting up for a line. Now what we need to do is we need to say have another uh, parenthesis and we need to say v to i or f. Um, it does matter what one you do because if you say v to i then the next numbers I'm going to show you are all going to be whole numbers but if you say uh, v to f all the um all the numbers are going to be decimals, so a lot of like 10.0, 15.0 stuff, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So let's get started, shall we? So now we need to say 10, and I have some coordinates on my other screen, so I'm just going to type in these coordinates: 300 by 305, and that should get us. There's a syntax error. That should take care of the syntax error. Yep, it got us a little line here. You can see the line, and it's awesome and stuff. Alright, so, now that we've done that, we can go ahead and we can actually start drawing 3D objects. Now, uh, the, for this tutorial, what the 3D objects are going to look like is ordinary old, uh, regular, kind of 2D looking graphics, but they're in 3D space. And that's what counts. So, uh, so what you can do is, I'm going to explain how you can make these objects be more 3 dimensional. So, first, we need to say from Piglet ah. from piglet dot gl import all, and this is going to import the gl packages of uh, um, uh, the piglet. So now we need to say we need to say gl clear, and if you if you see my uh, other um, Java tutorials you'll notice that buffer bit. You'll notice that this is very similar to the um, Java way of doing it. So, now we need to say is matrix mode, and we're going to have the matrix mode set to model view. Alright, so once we've done that, we are free to go ahead and add in our object. So let's do GL begin, and here we're going to say GL triangle triangles. Yes, GL triangles, and we're going to say GL end. So this is going to be our triangle object, and then in these uh in these here space we're going to be putting our points for the object. Now for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it 2D. So we need to say GL vertex. Now this is how it, this is very important. If you type in 2 I standing for two integer or you can do 2 F 2 D all, all that stuff to get different data types, but if you type in 2, then you have two parameters and that's going to be drawing it two dimensionally in 3D space. Now if you say 
three, you're going to have three parameters. And what that's going to do is that's going to draw the object three-dimensionally. So it's going to, so you can actually have it so it extrudes out towards the camera or, you know, it does all that stuff. Or you can use this to make a cube if you have enough uh, vert vertices. So, but for now, I'm just going to be doing the regular old uh, stuff. So, we're going to have 300. No. 300 by 300. And we're going to copy this. Ah, that was, that was terribly wrong. We're going to copy this. Paste it. And then this here, this point, is going to be 400 by 200. And then this one's going to be 200 by 200. 200 by 200. And this, if we're lucky, works. And you can see here's our triangle. Now, because this uh, little line here is very annoying and I don't like it, I think it should go die. The whole, no, I'm kidding, line. You're, you're amazing. I'm going to get rid of that line. And so now we just have this uh, little triangle. So now what we can do is we can color it. So you can say GL color. And in color, we're going to make this vertex green because it's RGB. And we forgot something. Three integer. Now let's just uh, copy that. Go over here, paste it, zero, one, we're going to have this one to be, uh, I think that's blue, no, red, green, blue, that's red, and then this is going to be blue. Alright, now, if we run this, we should get, oh, okay, I, I done goofed something somewhere. Um, okay, 3F, I don't think that. Yeah, okay, 3F. And then there we go, we have this nice little uh, triangle here. It's all cute and stuff, and we love it. We're gonna hug it. All right, anyways. Um, so that is how you draw objects in Piglet. In the next tutorial, I'll cover... Um, more advanced objects and stuff like that. And if that's if there isn't going to be a single tutorial. Well, I don't think this is going to be a series, but what I'm saying, what I'm getting at is don't expect another tutorial, but if one comes out, don't be surprised. All right, so thank you, squids, for watching. I hope I was of help. Please check the, check out the channels of the other squids. Like, subscribe, leave any questions, comments, or concerns in a comment below. Comment, comments below. And thank you all for watching. Audio squids.